when you hear allegations of Haitians eating dogs and cats and and taking them off the street and stealing them from people's yards, uh, what is your reaction when you hear that? I it was uh, shocking to me, uh, honestly, because. Um, the first question I ask myself, where in the world do people are eating pets? Viles Dorsonville is the head of the Haitian Community Help and Support Center in Springfield, Ohio. He came to the United States about four years ago from Haiti, and he hasn't just questioned the nature of the recent rumors, he's questioned what they will do to his community. It's just like xenophobia, it's just like bigotry, discrimination. And, and racist, and, and they do not normally take time to see the impact that can have on the mental health of the immigrants fleeing the country from all kind of chaos. To be clear, former President Donald Trump's claims are not supported by evidence. In a statement to CNN, a spokesperson for the city of Springfield said, there have been no credible reports or specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. But all of this has also come as part of a very real surge in Haitian population in Springfield. We have realistically been saying 12 to 15,000 immigrants is what, we've, uh, what we have counted through the health department and other agencies. And they are here legally under the immigration parole program. Once here, immigrants are then eligible to apply for temporary protected status. Haitian temporary protected status was recently extended and redesignated for Haiti, mainly due to violent anarchy in the country. But the total population of Springfield is around 58,000. So that's around 25% Haitian. And the growing pains in the community have not always been easy. State officials say it's stressing resources. That obviously represents a massive uh, increase uh, based upon percentage of the population in Springfield. It is, it is unprecedented in such a short period of time. Federal government simply has to be part of the solution. Uh, they have to step up. It is their policies that have created these surges. The influx of Haitians has also manifested itself in other ways, including a tragedy. Specifically, in 2023, when 11-year-old Aiden Clark was killed in a Springfield bus crash, one that involved a Haitian immigrant who had a driver's license that was not valid in Ohio, as reported by the New York Times. Aiden's father declined to speak on camera, but as others have posted about the tragedy recently, he told CNN in a statement, we just want our family out of the news and for Aiden to not be mentioned in regards to politics. Putting aside any unverified theories about cats and dogs, Vilbrin Dorsonville, also Haitian, says he understands the criticisms about the strain on resources caused by the influx of immigrants. I agree with these people. But he also painted a harsh reality. If it was not for a matter of death or life in my country, it would be better to get back. 